Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. Sure is a lot going on in the world, isn't there? God, what I wanna talk to you about is just so trivial, but gonna do it anyway. Keeps me thinking about all other kinds of crazy stuff. So let's talk about neck cream. <laughs> Because let me tell you something, ladies, the neck needs love. And the older you get, the more you're going to realize that. Because when you get to be about 45, it's like gobble, gobble, gobble. Here comes the turkey neck. Now, at the same time that I had a little lift here and a little lift here and a little lift here, I also had a little bit of this skin right here removed had it all done at the same time about five years ago and probably in another couple of years i'm gonna do it again okay just a little tweaking here and there to keep mama aging gracefully little tiny thing make it look a little better not anything too crazy okay where i look like i'm frozen in time oh so we're gonna talk about two neck creams one of them is pricey one of them is mid price okay but i love them both okay this little puppy right here is the shizba not even kidding you i am a skin suticles girl seriously one of the best lines on the market skincare wise you pay high dollar but you get high results this is a 126 dollar neck cream okay but i have been using this cream for about three years i love it i love it i know that it is working on my neck keeping it smooth keeping everything kind of looking tight i like it and go all the way down to the chest area love it now the midline, which is really about the same product. This is number sevens. This is Restore and Renew the Neck Cream. This is a fantastic product. Highly rated as well. The retinol is not as potent as what is in the SkinCeuticals. That is really the only difference. This is a $35 product. Love it. Love it. I love them both. Here. I really do. I believe in neck creams about as much as I believe in eye creams, okay? So that tells you how important they are to me. Look, and I love tiny pleasures because you forget about them. The first one is offering to help somebody. You actually notice that somebody needs assistance. You notice somebody with a disability that can't do something that they're trying to do and you get to help them do that. You notice that an elderly person is having a hard time in some way or needs a place to sit and you give that to them. You know, you notice somebody maybe going up some stairs and they're having a hard time and you help them. Maybe it's even a dog, an animal, and you save it, okay? Not only does it help and make them happy and they go away with the feeling that there's still good people in the world but you also leave thinking I'm glad I did that that just made my soul feel good because you did it on a whim on a spur from your heart not because somebody told you to and that's a tiny pleasure tiny pleasure number two and where I live this really is a tiny pleasure and that would be rain rain i love the sound of rain i love the smell of rain i love the way it looks when it rains i love listening to it while i'm reading a good book while i'm taking a nap i love rain and rain is a tiny pleasure just remember those people try to remember your tiny pleasures all right be kind to one another all right good night